All right, take 300. Oh my goodness. Have you ever had something like not go how you planned? Like what you planned was awesome, but then what you did sucked. That's kind of been a little bit of an experience here today with this. I felt like I had a really cool idea and I think it was cool, but it just didn't, it was gonna be with some like worship and stuff in the past couple of hours I've been working on it and it really just did not work out well for several reasons. <laughs> None of which are important, but uh, anyway, I'm doing something different and sometimes we can expect or hope for something and it just doesn't quite turn out. Like I remember when my parents uh, went on an anniversary trip, uh, they left the three of us kids at home celebrating their anniversary, having a, I think it was just one night away or whatever, they're in a hotel up in Portland. And I get a bloody nose and a uh, sucker starts bleeding. I don't know if it's like eight at night or whatever. And I used to get a lot of bloody nose before, so it's no big deal, NBD. But by 10 o'clock, it's still bleeding. So it's been bleeding a couple hours. And so then we shoot them a message. Hey, this is happening, blah, blah, blah. They're like, okay, just keep pressure on it, blah, blah. By 12, by midnight, uh, it's still, the sucker is still bleeding. Like I pull off the, the maybe it's too much. I pull off the, the uh, tissue and it, she like just starts going to town. So at that point it was like, dude, this sucker's been going for four hours. It's been bleeding. Uh, we need to call mom, right? Mom and dad. And uh, I was in, I was in high school. Call my folks and they end up coming back from their uh, anniversary. They leave at like 12.30, get home at 1.30 and I, their little short vacation was ruined by this bloody nose. Not only that was I had to keep, I went to the ER, they clean all this stuff up, they had to cauterize it, but, but not just cauterize it, they had to put a balloon in my nose. So they put this balloon that literally went like up to here in my nose and inflated it. Way too much information. I was flying to Nashville. I had to keep it in for three days. I was flying to Nashville in two days. And so then I go to Nashville, I got this balloon sticking out my nose and this tube coming out. And as I take off, I literally have to deflate it because the doctor told me like, hey, the air cabin pressure might actually expand this thing and it could push out on your bone, even break your bone. So make sure you're, so my buddy is sitting next to me cracking up laughing as I'm like, dude, knock it off, knock it off, as I'm trying to like deflate this. Sometimes things just don't go how you planned and that's okay. I guess maybe, maybe that's one thing that God's trying to teach me right now is it, there are a lot of things that are not going as I planned in different ways and that's okay. Uh, it's okay to process that, to be upset, to be angry, frustrated, Obviously in this season, there's a lot of things that haven't gone as we planned or hoped. You know, one of the cool things is I was just driving home kind of defeated just half an hour ago. God kind of said to me like, cause I was like, well, this whole worship thing just didn't work. I was spending a couple, two hours in, like worshiping and trying to create something for Thirsty Thursday. I thought was the direction and it didn't, it just sucked. It totally flopped. I don't like it. Uh, and I felt like, yeah, but you gotta worship me. And I was like, you're right. Even though it didn't turn out how I expected, I still got to spend two hours of just worshiping God. And that was pretty cool. Sometimes there is that silver lining and that, that, uh, that thing that it's like, oh wow, I didn't expect that, that hidden Easter egg that makes things a little bit better. And sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's just all bad news. and. And you gotta just kind of grapple with that. We follow a king who has no limits, is able to take whatever it is we have to offer and to do immeasurably more with it than we can ever imagine. May that be a sense of comfort to you. Even if things aren't as you expected or hoped. Mm -hmm.